Number 79. At what frequency will a 30 milli Henry inductor have a reactance of 100 ohms? All right, so whenever they're talking about a reactance of an inductor, they're really asking for the inductive reactance. In other words, reactance is the variable x, and they're talking about uh, inductive reactance, and therefore it's x sub l. So if we notice over here on the right-hand side, we have a little formula here. This says that the inductive reactance will equal 2 pi multiplied by the frequency of os oscillation multiplied by the inductance. So if I have to find the frequency, I gotta solve this for f. In other words, I gotta divide these terms on out, right? So I bring it across and on down, and notice here I have a nice little formula. So really there's only two variables that uh, the frequency depends on, the inductive reactance and the inductance, both of which they gave me. So we just plug it in, we gotta make sure we have the right units. So inductive reactance, if you notice, it's uh, an, an ohm value, right? So it's 100 divided by 2 pi multiplied by the inductance now in, uh, or did I say inductance? I meant reactance. Hopefully, I'm not sure if I said inductance, but this is the reactance. The reactance value is 100 ohms. And now the inductance here is uh, 30 uh, milli Henry, but you know we need that in Henry, so simply take 30 and multiply it by 10 to the minus 3. And here we go. So it's basically going to be then 100 divided by now parenthesis 2 pi, times 30 times 10 to the minus 3. And we get a value about 531. 531, you can call this hertz, all right? Or per second, cycles per second. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helps. Fairly straightforward. I'll see you in the next question. Be well.